Okay, so in this update, I want to first talk to you about the color system. So over here, if you go to appearance and then click on color guide, you're going to get this color guide. Now, this color guide is very powerful because as you know, every design workflow requires you to choose your basic colors. And this is the easiest way to choose your colors for your designs. And uh, if you can play around with the sliders here, your saturation here, you have your lightness, and you can choose all your colors here. So once you're happy with that, you can copy your color here. And this is based on HSL, which is fantastic. So this is your primary color. Over here, you choose your accent color. And we already have our grayscale colors. Now over here, it gives you an idea of um, how the heading one, heading two, heading three, heading four sizes look like. This is also our scaling system. Now this is not based on just eyeballing and just thinking, oh, you know what? This is the size of the padding. That is not what design is about. Design is about patterns. Design is about predictable spacing and this follows a system which makes your designs look very aesthetically pleasing all right we also have our shadow classes here as you can see now let's head over and take a look at the version that we are running for this so i'm going to come over here to appearance and if we click here you're going to notice that we are running version 7.2 of the sidecrafter pro framework okay Right now, let's head over and create a new page and see what that kind of looks like. And as I'm going through uh, this page, I also want to show you how easy it is to put a design together. All right, so we're going to call this page SK72. Uh, okay, we're going to use Divi Builder. Now, of course, when you start building, uh, the most important thing is, okay, what size is going to be our section? Okay, so first of all, I'm going to come over here to my section settings. We're going to come over here to advanced CSS ID and classes. And I'm going to start now with my the size of my section. So I'm going to start typing here. And you can see as I start typing, it's now giving me the options. So this is section large. Okay, that's what I want to go with. But it depends what you want to go with. Now, the really cool thing about this is if you decide, you know what, I don't want large anymore. You can literally go back here and say XL. Right. And then I can choose it from here. And you can see now that my class here has updated. Now it's not very clear how big our XL is because we haven't started uh, adding our content and we don't have a background color. So while we're at it, let's add a background color. And adding a background color is very, very easy. Now remember that color guide I showed you earlier on? If you start typing BG gray, okay, this will start showing me the whole gray scale. And it starts from the lightest to the darkest. So I can start literally with 100. And that's the lightest and go to the highest, which is 900. So I don't have to mess around with uh, choosing my colors or going to the color picker. No, I don't need to do that. Everything is here. Okay. And it is lined up neatly below here, which is also really, really good. Now you may be thinking, well, this padding, uh, is it really good? Well, it is fantastic because it is what? It is fluid, which means as the screen gets smaller, the padding adjusts itself. And this is how aesthetically pleasing websites look like. There's a lot of work that has gone behind the scenes to create all the variables that make this work. All right, so let's continue on. So I'm going to start adding my content here. So what I'm going to do in the background here is to add an image. So I'm going to come over here to my background and let's add an image. Okay, I'm going to click here. And the image I'm going to go with is, you know what, let's go with this one here upload image and now we can see we have our image okay so now let me add my row so i'm going to add two columns for this and in the first column i'm going to add a text module now notice how fast i'm designing this i know uh, it sounds unreal but this is like really really fast i've chosen my text here all i have to do now is to come over to advanced now i want to add a glass effect to this so all i need to do is to type glass look at that my glass effect has been applied but i want padding around this now guess what pad for padding now i have my options here i'm going to go with padding large look at that the glass effect has been applied my padding is large in fact if that's a bit too much we can go in and say medium how about that right now my text may not be the right size so i can go with sk which is my normal body text size or i can literally go in and add specific sizes, but I'm happy with that. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to apply the style onto our design. 
Okay, so moving on, let's say uh, there's a few more things that you may want to uh, do here. Let's go with an equal column. Now, what I'm going to show you next is super powerful. So let's go, uh, let's go ahead and add a text module by doing that. And then I'm gonna duplicate this a few times. Okay, so I've duplicated this three times. I'm gonna drag this to the top so at least we can see what we are designing. All right, so now that we have this, the next step now is to uh, go in and style our text. But before I do that, before I do that, if I come over here to my row settings, you can see here we have space that has been applied. That is not good because this is not the right spacing we need. So what we need to do is to come over here to column and then you go to design. Now the issue is when uh, Flexbox was updated, it added this uh, padding over here, which we don't need. So I'm gonna go in and say zero, zero it out, okay? And then I'm gonna go to vertical, zero it out as well. And now you see the padding is gone. So what I wanna do now is to go into my default preset and create a new preset from this, okay? So I'm gonna assign it as a default. And then I'm gonna say, no padding, uh, column dash no padding. Okay, so that's just gonna remind me. Let me just do the right spelling here, okay? So that's gonna remind me that my columns have no spacing. But why am I doing this? It's because we have specific a scaling method that is applied within our framework. So for example, let's say I want my margin top to be very specific and um, I can come over here and I'm gonna say MT for margin top and I can go and say, okay, I want it small, boom. Okay, but this one here on the bottom, I want it slightly bigger, okay? So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna say MT margin top, right? And I'm gonna go medium. Now, do you see that this spacing here and this, this is double that, right? But the most important thing is this spacing is based on a scale and this scale is what UI designers use for their designs. And that is how you get all these beautiful designs. It uses a scale, a spacing scale, okay? All right, so now that I have this, I'm now going to go and customize this. I wanna do something really interesting here, okay? So I want to add a heading, but this heading is going to be large so I'm gonna come over here to my CSS ID and classes, and then I'm going to say SK heading, and you can see here it's showing SK heading. So nine XL is the largest, okay? So I'm gonna go with eight XL. Now, do you see how massive that is? I can even go and say, um, okay, font, and this is for my, uh, my font weight. Now look at that, as soon as I type font, it's telling me now font 100, 200. Now if I go for font 100, it's gonna be so thin, okay? And all this is ready for me. And if I go 800, you can see it's now really, really bold, okay? So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna leave it like that, okay? And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go into my advanced. And for this one here, I'm gonna go in and say, okay, text, and this is gonna be custom text, I'm gonna go text extra large. Okay, do you see that? Now, this is how you design cast custom sections which have specific sizes based on what you want. Okay, everything has been baked already inside the, um, the framework. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, you're probably thinking, well, Mac, how are you gonna make this responsive? Okay, <laughs> and let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm gonna save this and do a preview. Now that I have this massive text, I'm gonna right click and inspect. Now check this out, notice what happens now. If I start dragging this, notice the size. Look at that, look at that. Isn't that amazing? This is going to look beautiful on mobile devices, on, on tablets, pretty much anywhere. And I didn't even need to go in and add any specific sizes. Everything is within our framework. And this is the power of SideCrafter framework. Okay, so now that we have this, I also want to take a look at the code and see, okay, is this code really good code, right? Let me inspect that. Or I can inspect this paragraph if I want to, it doesn't really matter, okay? So with that inspected, I am going now to take a look at this, okay? And when I go in, you can see here my line height, it's, it's, it's a variable, okay? 
flex direction. All these are variables. If I come to this one here, the code is very clean. Okay, so you can see here, this is .sk heading 8xl. You see that? That is our class. So the code here is very, very clean. Here you can see font 800, that is extra bold, font extra bold. So the code that we're getting out of this is very, very clean. Now, let me show you one more example. Uh, if I go in and let's say I want to add equal row. And in that row, we're going to add some modules. And this is going to be a blurb, okay? I can literally add quite a few blurbs in here. Okay, but now if I want to adjust this and uh, have a really nice looking layout, I can literally go into my column here, advanced, and then go into CSS ID and classes. And in here, I'm going to type grid, right? And then I can also say grid, but this time I want to use grid auto, okay? And I'm going to scroll down and there it is. Look at that. Now, everything is now in a grid without actually going into crazy code uh, to make sure this works. Now, I want to give this a background color. So I'm going to come over here to section settings, advanced, CSS ID and classes. And the color I want to add is BG. Oops, BG. And this is going to be primary now. Okay. Primary 50. Do you see that? That's my primary color. I can even go and say accents. And now this is my accent 50. If I go accent 500, look at that. I can even go darker and darker if I want to, okay? But I want to keep it at, uh, in fact, you know what? Let's keep it at accent 500. So at least you can see this. Now I'm going to hit save and preview. Look at that. Now, if I start making my screen smaller, you see how responsive this is. It's so snappy and you are going to have designs that look awesome in all, devi in all devices. This is the power of using a framework. Now, what does this look like if you wanted to do this from scratch? Okay, so that means that even this text right here, if you wanted to go in and do it manually, you would need to, first of all, create variables. Okay, you're going to have a list of variables here massive list of variables because the file that makes up all these variables is quite long. I mean, we're talking about over a thousand lines, okay? So you're going to have a lot of variables here, okay? And then once you have all your variables, every time you want to add a size, you would need to come over here, go into your text, and then you're going to look for your size, which is right here. You click over here on the variable, and then you're going to add your variable from here. Now, you would need to do this each and every time you go in and choose whatever font size you're going to use throughout the whole thing and trying to make it responsive or fluid you would have to use what uh, what is known as clamp and that in itself is just a lot of work okay so this system that i'm talking about here is called a class based system this is a system that advanced designers use this is the way forward this this is guaranteed to give you a design that is scalable easy to use and also consistent. Now, if you were to hand over this design to a designer to uh, to continue working on this, it is very easy because all they need to do is to go in and see where you've made all your changes. And the changes are right here. You can see font 800, SK8, XL, everything is right here. You don't even need to do anything, right? Now, can you imagine if the designer had to go into text and then you have to hunt for it, you know, to see where the change was made. But with this system, you don't have to worry about that. So I know you're probably asking me now, okay, Mac, surely we need a way to learn how this is, I mean, how this actually works. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, this is one of the most significant updates to this framework. And for those of you that purchased this very early on, I'm sure you can agree with me that this has been a huge update. Now I'm going to create a dedicated course that goes through each and every feature. Okay, because right now I'm confident that we are at least very stable. There's not gonna be a lot of changes to classes. Whatever is going to happen from this point, uh, point, uh, point onwards is optimization. We're not gonna be changing the, the core foundation of SiteCrafter. So there's going to be a dedicated course and all the designs that we're going to be designing, all the layouts, 
are going to be based on this framework. And if you master this framework, your design agency is going to be amazing because you're going to be designing websites so fast that you're going to leave all the competition behind. That is how powerful this is. Right, so when it comes to the pricing, I still have the um, lifetime license still active. So let's go to it. So if you want to go to that, you go to sitecrafter.com, okay? If you go to Pro, this is 297, okay? So this gives you the Sitecrafter community access. It gives you the Divi child theme. Okay, this is a Divi child theme. Unlimited updates, unlimited websites, unlimited support. And it's going to come up. Uh, it's going to come with a course, and I'll be having master classes. I want you to master how to use this um, framework. Now, if you go to buy a lifetime license, okay, you're going to have a split payment, okay, just to make things easier. So you can split payment this and pay ninety nine for three months, okay. So I highly recommend that you go with this lifetime option because once you purchase this, that's it. You're good to go. I'm going to be increasing the price. And it's going to be license-based. So the cheapest is going to be installed probably on one website. And then I'm going to go to five websites, maybe 25 websites. And these are going to be different price, uh, different price points. The, the um, lifetime is going to go for good. So this is your opportunity to purchase this now. If you haven't signed up on to Divi University yet, head over to Divi University. This is our place our little spot where all the divi designers hang out okay so this is absolutely free you can join the community this is pretty much what it looks like i share all my tips updates and there's a lot of communication that happens over here you can see that you know people are commenting and so on this is where you can get help this is where you can get uh, inspiration and so on so we're trying to build this to be the best divi place of the uh, for um, all the divi designers okay and while we're at it if you feel like you know what Mac, you're putting in a lot of work. You need some coffee. Uh, well, you can support me by buying me a coffee over here, okay? It's only $5 uh, for a cup of coffee. But the cool thing is you can buy me as many coffees as you want, okay? So here's the link. Buy me a coffee is right there. If you scroll down, you can see there's one coffee, two, three, and you can also pay what you want. I'd really appreciate it if you uh, support me that way. Now, please be patient. Uh, I'm going to create a full documentation for this it's going to be very, very easy to use. I mean, as you can see, I've just done a quick demo here and this will take you at least a couple of hours for you to put together a system that works like this. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you're a Lifetime member, I'm going to send you an email. You'll be able to download Sitecrafter 7.2 tonight or today, wherever you are, okay? So I'm going to send an email out and you're going to be able to get that. So. Take a quick look at your emails uh, after this uh, video and um, yeah, give me some feedback. Thank you very much for watching.